Hello game fans! Hero shooters are all the rage at the moment, but with so many already out and more on the horizon, it's becoming a very crowded market. Overwatch has proved that the paid formula works, and yet Battleborn shows how easily these games can fail, despite being a solid game. Other titles have opted for a free to play option, and games such as Smite are doing very well. Mixing these two models is Paladins, the latest hero shooter from High Res Studios. Paladins has the look and feel of Overwatch, but the extensive customization and paywalled content of Smite, which is kind of understandable as High Res also created Smite. So, is Paladins one to watch, or will it have a battle on its hands? Here's my first impressions of the Paladins beta. In the beta release, players have access to about 5 players across the various classes that include Frontline, Support, Damage and Flank. Each character class have their own strengths and weaknesses and feel very different. Support characters do not last long in open warfare and snipers need to be tucked away to dish out those death blows from afar. Only by working as a team can you successfully win the match. In the five and a half hours playtime that I've logged, I have had about four different game modes, which include training for learning the ropes, siege, this involves securing a certain position and once secured, pushing a payload to a required location whilst the opposing team try and stop you. Survival, this team deathmatch enjoys smaller maps and requires the teams to outlast the other. Once dead, you're out. This game type is made even more interesting by an ever engulfing fog that pushes all the players towards the central command point. There's also a player versus environment game but this was greyed out and unavailable at the time of playing, but if they can take a few lessons from the recent Overwatch Uprising PvE game then it's sure to please. When it came to the different game types, I found the objective based play the best option for trying out all the various characters and it's definitely worth playing them all to find your niche. Visually it looks fantastic with so many colourful and varied characters to choose from, all of which have their own personality. My personal favourite was the rifle toting Victor and the sleek sniper known as Knessa. However there were plenty of characters to unlock. Uh, two characters that I really wanted to get my hands on was the Bomb King and Ruckus with his little DVA style robot. The medieval settings are a great backdrop for the battle, however the more modern rifles and snipers do feel a little bit out of time when compared to all of the wizards, genies, goblins and thieves. Being a team based shooter, players must rely on strategy character knowledge, coordination and teamwork in order to attain victory. A good team will have a balanced choice of classes that will all support each other during the game. After each match you gain additional cards and loot to change players, upgrade their special abilities and customise them on a, a more visual level. The loot chests have a particularly satisfying thud, clunk and then a shower of loot which gives a real sense of achievement. Overall, I found myself enjoying Paladins a lot more than I thought I would. Having this high quality shooter for free is absolutely fantastic news for the Xbox community. Whilst Overwatch is still retaining its high price, even when it's in the sale, younger gamers and those not looking to spend can jump into the hero shooter genre without spending a penny. If you get chance, are you going to play Paladins? Let me know your thoughts and comments down below and I'll be back with another video very soon. Finish him.